Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Trading Basics. I'm Joe Kelly. In this episode, what we're going to go over is we're going to go over position sizing and using a position sizing calculator. Now, there are two schools of thought that I'm going to go over here. Uh, one is going to be risking a percentage of your account on each trade, and another is going to be risking a max dollar amount per trade based on whatever you want to input. Now, I've made four different calculators that you can download and save for your, yourself and go back and use whichever one sounds the best to you. But I'm going to do a quick overview of each of these. And then the link, and I'm going to say this like four times because I know there's going to be direct messages about this. The link to these calculators are going to be below the video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each of these. So this example would be if you want to risk a percentage of your account. Your question as a trader, as a newer trader, as a more advanced trader, intermediate, you have determined what your comfort level is for risk. But as a newer trader, it's hard to know. We, as newer traders, will look at the max profit available. And we'll say we want to make $500. So we need to short or buy this number of shares in order to do that. But in reality, we're taking an unnecessary amount of risk. Now, we have the same two examples dollar amount per trade or percentage of account so in this example up here we have ten thousand dollar account on ticker xyz we want a stop at 384 and now we have a profit target of three okay so this is a little different now you have a stop loss that you say if it breaks this level i'm going to stop out but I want to take my profit at three. So in order to get two to one risk reward, and what you have to do is, let me go ahead and color code these cells. What you have to do here is you have to input this yourself. Let's say you want three to one. You should always leave a one right here, obviously. You don't want to like put three to two, because that'd be weird. Um, but you always want three to one or you want two to one or whatever you want. Now what we have here is let's go ahead and format this in and do this here and center that up. So now if we have a 1% risk of our account, okay, it's going to be equals 